the Science of Sophie explanation of wet bulb temperature so I can explain to my fellow East Coasters why humidity is dangerous right now. I got you. I'm in Chicago, but humidity is humidity. It's humid in both places. I've been out here for one minute filming and I'm already sweaty. Wet bulb temperature. What is it and when is it dangerous? Wet bulb temperature is the temperature that's read by a thermometer with yep, a wet bulb. Why would somebody do this? To measure the temperature when it's really, really humid. The bulb of a thermometer is what detects temperature. It contains a liquid. When we want to know how hot it is outside, we put the thermometer out there. And the hotter it is, the more the liquid will expand, go up that tube, and then we can read markings thanks to math to figure out what the temperature is, whether in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Often we measure temperature with ambient air. That's just the air around us. Put that thermometer out there. We call that dry bulb temperature. When we want to throw humidity into the mix, we use wet bulb. Humidity is the amount of water vapor that's in the air. When the humidity is at 100%, that means that the air is at max capacity for holding water and no more water can evaporate into the air. Evaporation has a cooling effect. For example, if we were measuring temperatures on a day with 50% humidity, the wet bulb temperature would be a little bit cooler than the dry bulb temperature because the water surrounding that wet bulb would evaporate, cooling off the temp a little bit. But if we measured on a day with 100% humidity, the wet bulb temp and the dry bulb temp would be the same. We use wet bulb temperature to help us understand how our bodies can cool off by sweating. More like sweat bulb. Sweating is how our bodies stay cool. Water evaporates off of our skin and our body can cool down. I'm sweating so much. But water can only evaporate into the air if the air can hold more water. If humidity is at 100%, the air cannot hold more water. It's at capacity, so no more evaporation can happen and that includes evaporation from our own bodies. The wet bulb is kind of like our watery little meat sack, human bodies. Basically, we are the wet bulb. We are the wet bulb. We are the wet bulb. And for your sweet little watery body, we are the wet bulb. You cannot sweat enough to cool down your body. We really can't tolerate extreme temperatures very well or for very long. So if it's very hot and very humid, your body can quickly overheat, which can be deadly. <laughs> Wrap it up so you can go cool off. So, so how do we stay safe during these heat waves? Stay cool, stay hydrated. Know the signs of heat distress, nausea, feeling lightheaded. Avoid dehydrating liquids, coffee or alcohol. I know, I know. Stay indoors if you can, especially in air conditioned space. If you can't find one, find shade. Not everybody has access to resources like their own private AC or even shade. This is where public spaces are literal lifesavers. Think libraries, museums, train stations, public pools. This is just only going to get worse. It's getting more extreme, more common, longer lasting, and more dangerous as climate change really kicks into high gear. So let's keep each other safe. Protect yourself and your neighbors, your family, your friends. Stay cool, my fellow wet bulbs. We are the wet bulb. We are the wet bulb. We are the wet bulb.